guys! Welcome back to my channel. This is Crystal. And in today's video, it's going to be all about this facial mask. And I'm not really sure how to read this. Um, it's called Ovali or Oveil. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. It's made in Indonesia. It's a pearl powder mask. So what intrigued me about this product is that it's a powder mask. So it's the Mutiara Masker Bubu Pearl Powder Mask. So um, I'm, I'm gonna have to translate that. But um, it just says here it helps brighten up the skin and it has 15 grams inside. So it's a pearl powder mask. So as you can see on the photo, it has pearls. It's gonna be my first time to try a powder mask from this brand because I already tried their clay mask before and I really like it. But I'm gonna do a separate review about that. So it says here Ovali or Ovale, um, correct me if I'm wrong, Keeps helps to cleanse and it keeps skin tightness. Wait, there's something wrong with this. Ovali powder, Ovali powder mask pearl helps to clean. Keeps skin tightness. Okay, again. Powder mask pearl helps to cleanse, keeps skin tightness, and helps in removing dead skin cells. Enriched with vitamin B3 and pearl extract, with regular use, leaves your skin feel fresh, soft, and radiant looking. Apply to clean dry face and neck, avoiding eyes and lips area. Leave dry to 10 to 15 minutes. Rinse off with warm water thoroughly. So, um... Okay, so I think we're just gonna have to um, test this out. It's not like other uh, face masks na you can feel the actual, like a sheet mask uh, or like a clay mask. It's not one of those. This one, you can definitely feel powder inside. So, we, um, we're just gonna open it here. Oh my gosh, there's like powder already everywhere. I'm just gonna use this brush to apply my mask. And then I have a bowl here, so I'm just gonna use this fancy plate that I have. And um, you can use any bowl or mixing plate, whatever you have um, available there. But um, you can use absolutely everything as long as you can mix it. It smells very fresh, it smells like flowers. So while I'm mixing this, I'm just gonna give you guys a little bit of background. Um, so wait, hold on. So it's completely white. And the powder, let me just feel the powder. I'm not sure if I should put all of it. Okay, so okay, let's just try to finish it all up. I said 15 grams of the pearl powder mask. And uh, it's just completely white. And let me just feel the powder. It feels like cornstarch, you know, the texture of cornstarch or baking powder. It feels almost exactly the same. Where it definitely smells super florally. And try not to speak in front of this because it's just gonna fly everywhere. But um, okay, let's just test this out. I really wish that they have instructions on how to use this. I just really wanted to know how much water you need to mix with this. But um, I'm just gonna try to create a paste and just add water slowly. While I'm mixing this, I'm just gonna give you guys a little bit of background about my skin. I have really, really oily skin. And there are those days when I have combination skin, like um, I have dry areas around my face and then oily on my T-zone. But um, most of the time, I have just oily skin, like literally like a walking grease ball. So I try to stay away from products with oil in it and I always always look for products that will um, mattify my face. Wait, so I'm just gonna add more. So I'm always looking for products that will remove the oil on my face. I don't really have super problematic skin but I do have a little bit of discoloration in my face. My forehead is normally like a tad bit darker than the rest of my face. And then like the size of my mouth sometimes gets, I don't know, like it, the color is a bit different from the rest of my face. So I just really want to brighten up my face and make it like one color. And so yeah, I just basically want to even out my skin tone. And um, it says here that this is going to brighten up your skin. So I will see about that. That is why we're going to test this out to see if it's going to improve my skin. And yeah, we'll see. I'm 
difficulty mixing the powder because there were just chunks everywhere and then I had difficulty mixing it but after like a couple of minutes mixing it this is how it looks like and uh, it's more effective if you're gonna use a brush to mix it because it just helps break the powder consistency is like Elmer's glue uh, it's very very similar to the consistency of that and I'm just gonna have to move my hair back I'm going to apply this on my face and the smell is actually super strong and I don't know if it's gonna bother you but um, for me it's okay too much water but uh, it's not supposed to be this watery I think it's supposed to be like a pasty texture but um, next time just make sure you don't add excessive water because um, it's just going to drop everywhere like it's happening to me right now but if I wait a little more I know it's gonna be thicker but I don't have patience for that right now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this and then um, don't forget your neck because um, it says on the packaging that um, you need to bring it down to your neck. Okay, so after applying your powder mask, you should look like this. And uh, I know, I look like a ghost. It's supposed to wait 10 to 15 minutes. This is super fresh on my skin right now. Like. Uh, it's only been two minutes, so grab your phone, watch some videos or something, kill time. And as for me, I'm going to clean my makeup table because it's kind of a mess right now, I need to be honest. And um, I'm gonna do that and then I'll be right back. This is all completely dry. And my phone is charging right now, zero battery, and I'm just waiting for this mask to dry. And um, yeah, so... Oh, you can see my setup. And... Um, Actually, it feels so refreshing and I feel like it's getting tighter as it's drying up. Um, I also have this toner from the same brand. It's called their facial lotion and it has aloe vera and it's a whitening um, toner with yam bean extract, vitamin A and E. This one. So I'm going to use this after I remove this. And um, I'm not really into whitening products. I'm just... I don't know, like I don't like um, my skin to be lighter. I'm a fan of lighter skin tones as well. But for me, I feel like, um, yeah, I'm like, I'm really okay with my skin color. I'm not really, really into whitening products just because I feel like most of the whitening products that I've tried in the past just leaves like a white film on your skin. It doesn't really whiten your skin, but it's just a temporary thing. It's just gonna go away after you wash it off. But um, I'm not really sure if there are other brands that make whitening products that really whiten your skin without just leaving a tint. But I heard that Calamansi is very effective in um, like making your skin lighter. So I haven't tried that yet. I mean, but if you just want to lighten some areas of your body like your, your elbows, your knees, um, you can use calamansi or lemon and just rub it on your skin. I heard that it's really effective. So yeah. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you can see but it's slowly drying right now. But this part just reminds me a lot of like whipped cream or icing on top of donuts. Like I look like a glazed donut right now. Alright guys, so it's been over 20 minutes now and it's still not yet completely dry. I don't know if you can see. I'm gonna have to wash this off right now because we're gonna have dinner soon and I don't want everyone to see me looking like this. Like, as you can see, it's cracking. And it's going to be really flaky and then the bits and pieces will fall down like this one. It already fell. And Okay guys, sorry for the messy hair but I just literally washed my face and I took off the mask. And um, the easiest way to remove the mask is to uh, just wash your face with water and then it's just going to soften the uh, mask and then um, you definitely need a towel to help remove some of the extra mask. Okay, I need to be honest, right after I removed the mask from my face, my skin felt so clean and the mask didn't leave any oily residue or like any mask residue on my face. 
it just felt so clean and like baby's butt it feels so smooth like i said earlier my forehead looks a tad bit darker than the rest of my face but right now it definitely brightened up my skin tone which i really like i don't know i just really love how my skin feels right now so i definitely definitely enjoyed using this one and um i'm definitely gonna do a review of their clay masks so it's like a ready to use mask it's like a paste and ready to use can't wait to try more so um i think i'm gonna see you guys next time reviewing another product from this brand thank you thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever i post a new video and i will see you guys again next time bye Thank you.